Hello and welcome you all to this video myself Prashant Prajapati and in this video we are going to see the demonstration of half cell corrosion potential. Half cell corrosion potential is used to check the corrosion of the rebar which is embedded in the concrete. So before seeing the demo we will first see what are the different uh, accessories come with the machine. So this is a very good carrying case and uh, in the carrying case what we can see is uh, this is the main unit of your uh, machine and uh, then we will see uh, this is cable uh, one is red one is black and uh, it's a half cell electrode it comes with very good packing so it is your uh, half cell electrode and also it comes with uh, two caps in this video we will see uh, the test procedure also we will understand uh, what are the different uh, 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 standards uh, based on which we do the testing so now uh, this test has been also introduced in IS 516 so before uh, starting the testing procedure uh, explanation I will first explain you uh, the different different parts and its uses now uh, this is the main unit uh, so this main unit when uh, we will uh, uh, connect machine then we have to keep uh, this uh, knob on MV that is millivolt because we have to take reading in milling volt so we will uh, just uh, turn this knob so it will uh, reach on millivolt then uh, it has also function of backlight display so if you are working in dark or if you are working in uh, uh, like uh, uh, sunlight so uh, this uh, uh, function will help you also it has a hold function if reading is fluctuating much uh, then uh, you can hold this uh, reading uh, if uh, it depends upon the the quality of concrete so that's why reading uh, sometimes fluctuates but uh, when I'll show you reading with, with this machine, uh, this machine shows you very uh, stable reading. Also, if uh, if you want to work uh, with this machine in the dark, then uh, uh, it has a option of you know torch. So by using this uh, button, you can uh, you know switch on this torch. So you can work in dark also. Uh, also, when uh, you just turn the knob, uh, it will automatically tell you that uh, which portion or which port to be connected with the uh, this light indication. Now, after this, we will see uh, this uh, these cables. These cables are very flexible cables. You can see because uh, when we are working in the uh, outside, so there we need very flexible cables. So you can see this these cables are very flexible type of cables. If you'll twist it and if you'll release it, it will come it's on its original position. So these cables are very flexible cables, and uh, due to this uh, uh, characteristics, its life will increase also. Uh, this is the electrode before using this electrode what we have to do is we have to open this part and after opening this part what we will do is we will fill water completely till that portion till this marking we will fill the water and then uh, if you are not visible if this is not visible I can show you this but we have to fill uh, the uh, copper sulfate solution will be till uh, this uh, part and uh, there is no uh, any uh, proportion suggested in IS 516 that's why we will uh, keep this copper sulfate powder uh, till one inch and then we'll fill water uh, till the end portion and then we'll connect it after the connection we have to keep this uh, electrode vertical and uh, in uh, <coughs> 30 to 45 minutes your uh, solution uh, we have to just shake it uh, to make the complete uh, solution and in uh, some like 30 to 45 minutes this uh, solution will be penetrated to this portion and after the use uh, what we have to do is after once the testing is completed then you can remove this uh, uh, copper assembly you can uh, you know apply this uh, cap and also uh, you can remove this part also after testing and you can apply this cap on the other side after applying this cap on the other side your solution will be untapped in this bottle and if the solution is untapped in this bottle so you can keep it like this so as to prevent the leakage uh, from this bottle inside your bag after filling the water in the electrode we have to do connection if suppose your solution is not mixing we have to shake it properly and after shaking it after 20 to 30 minutes this solution will start reaching here at this portion automatically and uh, then we have to do connection uh, we have red and black wire two wires so black wire will have this lug this lug is supposed to be inserted over here and we have to tighten this uh, 
uh, nut provided with the electrode so after uh, doing the tightness over here uh, we will do another uh, connection that is uh, for the crocodile clip this is your crocodile clip and crocodile clip is always connected with the rebar which is embedded in the concrete so now this uh, terminal is connected now other end is like uh, uh, one is red and one is black right so what we have to do in machine we have to keep uh, uh, this machine knob on mv mv the second number so when you will keep mv it will automatically blink this light uh, right side light so uh, red uh, color wire will be connected to here this port and black color wire will be connected to here at this port uh, we have to uh, press this uh, wire very smoothly you have to make sure that it is not breaking the port right after inserting this we have to uh, keep this uh, black light uh, backlight display on as per the requirement and uh, we have to make sure that this function is always dc this can be changed from here like here it is ac so we have to keep it always on dc right so you, we can see that it has started giving negative values so we are going to do this uh, testing now let's take reading now before taking the reading we have to make sure that the surface should be smooth and it is wetted with water or the soap solution now my surface is not that much smooth so let's take reading and also we have to use sponge be before taking the reading the sponge should be between the concrete surface and the electrode uh, if we will use a sponge it will uh, reduce its uh, wear so now we are taking reading and we can see that reading is like 31 point uh, uh, it's uh, almost 30.8 now it depends that uh, the reading will uh, the reading stability depends upon the uh, the way you are uh, keeping the transducer or the uh, electrode because if you will move your electrode it will you know reading will fluctuate so we have to keep this uh, electrode very steady like this so it is showing you 31.1 now uh, if i want to keep this uh, over here let's see how much it is showing it is showing 31.6 now these four rods has nothing to do with the half cell corrosion potential meter because uh, these four rods i have kept for the r d purpose and i am going to develop a machine on uh, concrete resistivity meter so do not confuse with these four rods we have to work only with this rod 